In this Power World video, I bring you a guide on how to summon, defeat, and even breed the new raid bosses. There's actually two if you did not know, and today I will explain everything you need to know about said new raid bosses. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So with the latest update, there has been an absolute ton of new things added into this game. But the main thing for players are the raid bosses. These are now considered the ultimate in-game challenge for players and let me tell you, there is definitely a major challenge here for players to work towards. I ain't even joking guys, the harder difficulty versions of these raid bosses are utterly brutal. Now there's a lot to learn about uh, these raid bosses and today I will explain everything you need to know from how you summon them, the different ways to do so, uh, the different difficulties there are, the rewards, what you get and much more. So let's get into it. Now first things first, you need to unlock the summoning altar. These become available at level 33 and it requires ancient technology points for you to unlock. Now once you've unlocked these guys, you need Palladium Fragments and Stone to place it down. But people, you need to place this down within the vicinity of your base, within your base. And yes, you heard that right. And this does come with a few complications, as you're probably wondering, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, personally, I just wanted to try this out. And because I have a few bases that are really disposable for me, I didn't really care about them. I weren't bothered about the risk of my base being destroyed. In fact, I wanted to see if it could happen. And it can. It definitely can. I mean, you summon this raid boss in your base. The boss is an absolute beast. And by the time the fight is over, there's a good chance that your base won't be there anymore. So do keep this in mind when it comes to summoning these bosses. There will be a workaround needed on your behalf to stop yourself destroying your base every single time. Now, once you have that summoner auto and it's placed down, you now need to go out and farm and get these Bellinor slab fragments. These are an item, a new material that you need to basically craft together to create the Bellinor slabs, which are used to summon these raid bosses. Now, how you get these uh, Bellinor slab fragments is you need to farm certain chests. Now you can farm the sanctuary chests. These are the three small islands you see around the edges of the map. These can drop these two. They're pretty rare, but they can drop them. I was actually using dungeons. Dungeons for me seem like the go-to place. These drop these quite frequently. Uh, what I was seeing was two different variants of these slabs dropping, commons and uncommons. It's also important to know what you're dealing with here too. Uh, the commons, I believe, will allow you to craft a rare Balinor slab for it is required. And then you need four uncommons to craft the epic Balinor Libra slab. Two different powers, two different raid bosses, one much harder than the other. But there's also, guys, a legendary slab, which I'll tell you about in a quick second. Now, once you find the four of the slab fragments to craft that said Balinor slab, you now need to go to that production line. I went ahead with the epic version as it's all I was getting was the uncommon slab fragment. So I crafted the epic version. Now, once you have this crafty guys, you can go ahead to that summoning altar and summon the raid boss. The warning is apparent here in the fact it will more than likely destroy your base. But yeah, I went ahead and summoned it anyway. I wanted to see what was going to go down. I didn't even use my best powers here and to be honest I'm glad I didn't as the powers within your base when you summon this boss in will fight for you so yeah it's almost like they're defending your base against this raid boss that's more or less what's happening here now you're seeing this on screen now and what actually happened was I summoned this Bellinor Libero boss then I noticed it had 450,000 health this is the harder version you can also like I said craft the common uh, Bellinor slab fragments to get the rare Bellinor slab and use that and you get an easier version of this boss to fight again I went with the epic version I got the Bellinor Libero with 450k health and noticed this thing was an absolute beast and then he started fighting my base powers and I just noticed lag was starting to happen and then guys it crashed the game Welp. now when I got back into my game I noticed that the raid boss was gone my materials are completely gone and it was over my base was half destroyed I won't be really bothered about this part I'm not gonna lie 
I was more fussed about the fact that I had just wasted the opportunity of fighting this boss because the game crashed and I lost my summoning slab. So that was a bit of a pain in the ass. So I had to go out guys and farm again. So that's what I did. I went back to dungeons, farmed for about half an hour, got three of the commons and four of the uncommons. So again guys, I crafted that epic Bellinor slab. And from this point guys, I was kind of smart. I took down a base that had been destroyed, wasn't really bothered about this, and I went elsewhere away from my main base and basically put down another PAL box and used this area right here to do a quick fight with this boss. I wanted to see how easy it was going to be. I actually wanted to fight it this time instead of my game crashing. So yes, I went away from my main base. This is something I'd probably recommend you doing unless you create yourself a battle arena, which is probably something I'm going to do. But yes, go away from your main base if you have that power box spare, place it down, place down that summoning altar. And from here, guys, you want to bring in your best powers. This is exactly what I did. I mean, depending on your server settings, this can be not easy. It can make it easier, but I don't think it would ever be a walk in the park. But obviously, it can go from 15 to 20 base powers if your settings are right. And this is what I did. I put down 20 of my best powers, my fighting powers. And then I just summoned this boss. Now what I did was um, I sat back with my rocket launcher and my my shotgun and then just shot the boss from afar while my other powers were just getting in, in that battle. Now it is a 10 minute fight and it took me more or less all of the 10 minutes. I think I was left with like a minute left to go. But the outcome, considering the first time I fought this boss and the game crashed, was slightly different this time as again I managed to take this boss down and the rewards here at the end are absolutely amazing. So yes, although I lost my base, I lost uh, a few of my powers, well, obviously they can be recovered, I lost plenty of shotgun and rocket launcher ammo, it was worth it in the end but let me tell you the fight was brutal. So what did I receive? Well guys, some really interesting stuff. Firstly, we got the legendary power fruit, and what this does is slightly raise one of your power's attack value. This is absolutely incredible, but you want to use this wisely, that is for sure. I got the multi climate undershirt plus two, which raises both heat and cold resistances. I got two ancient civilization cores. These are used to craft some of the new items, like the ability glasses. I also got a Belenor Libro ultra legendary slab which summons the most powerful version of this raid boss into the game but this is something i am saving because i know for an absolute fact right now i need to work towards this boss fight there's no two which ways about that and i also guys got an egg which upon me hatching it i received that balanor libro baby which was awesome too but yes guys that's probably all you need to know about these new raid bosses they're an absolute brutal fight super super fun but the rewards at the same time are amazing too there's probably even more rewards in the loot pool which i haven't received here and i'm guessing for that legendary fight a legendary slab it's going to be even crazier guys but we will see we will see but there we have it people all you need to know about the new raid bosses guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one.